Hello everyone. For 20 years, ID TechX has been covering a diverse range of sensor technologies and their applications, assessing them so our clients can understand the size of the markets, the trends and the opportunities. We have reports looking at different sensor technologies from LiDAR, radar, gas sensing and force sensing, through to reports looking at new form factors sensors coming through, such as flexible and stretchable sensors, which is creating new markets. And of course, we also look at sensor fusion and how these new innovations in sensors are changing markets, whether it's automotive, healthcare, utilities or robotics. I'm here with the author of this new ID TechX report titled Sensors 2021 to 2041, uh, who's Dr. Peter Harrop. And Dr. Peter Harrop is the founder and chairman of ID TechX. And the reason why we've put together this report is to really assess the outlook for sensors in a very changing landscape. We have COVID-19, we have a huge amounts of change occurring in the automotive sector, we have the rise of robotics in mining and in farming, and of course, many healthcare issues, not least the diabetes epidemic. So welcome, Peter, and thank you for your time. So firstly, I was quite intrigued in the report of the assessment you've done around patterns. Can you talk us through some of the findings that um, you conclude from that? Uh, yes, we, we feel quite confident, uh, as you implied, having done so much bottom-up work uh, to look at the whole subject, all sensors, top down. So a good way of doing that that we do is to look at patents. Uh, there are only five senses uh, that the humans have, 14 if you add the detailed ones, uh, and yet there are 8.4 million patents on human invented sensors. And what does that tell us? Well, it looks like this year um, of the order of 300,000 patents will be taken out. So who's taking them out? That gives us some idea. And we look at the trends for the individual ones. We've looked at 54 ones by the parameter measured. That's only one part of the report, but these give very useful trends. What is um, going out of um, interest and what's coming in fast and of course medical is coming in fast if you look at sectors but you look at individual patents uh, you find certain things jumping out of the page really so as you see on the screen uh, if you look at the top 16 patent tours uh, then that is mainly japan then korea and one german company um, robert bosch Mm. And you look at those companies and what they're up to and what they are patenting, and you find that it's mainly consumer electronics sensors and automotive sensors and industrial sensors. Right. Now, we also understand that energy is a big user of sensors, but I think you, you've come up with some interesting conclusions in the report about potential changes and opportunities for the sensor market within the energy and utility sector. Can you talk us through that, please? Yes, we think energy is a big sector, but it's dangerous to keep saying that it's the biggest because we don't think it is uh, and that's because it's in major change if you just think about it uh, we're moving from the fossil fuels uh, over the coming coming 20 years and when you have to drill deeper and you have to mine deeper and you have to carry your coal and your uh, gas and electricity enormous distances and then in addition you need a power station to burn the stuff Effectively, that's all replaced by uh, solar panels in a field, for example. Of course, it doesn't need as many sensors. So it is true in energy that conservation is a big coming thing. And if you include it in energy, eventually every house having solar roof and all those things, then of course there are sensors needed for solar, wind, water power, all these things coming in. So it's in great change, but it does need a little bit of questioning of popularly held beliefs. That's our submission. One thing we've seen in the press quite a lot is autonomous vehicles, which gets lots of media attention. And it's very exciting. But how does all these changes in the automotive sector really relate to the uh, the need and application of sensors in this sector? Um, 
Yes, the the automotive situation is in an even greater ferment. It's in radical change. And we've done a detailed study in the company of the effect of COVID-19, and it is severe. It will be affecting the automotive industry for 20 years. There are going to be about 122 million car sales that will not take place. And uh, the majority of those are for internal combustion engines. It's not evenly split with the uh, battery electric vehicles coming in. So what is actually happening with the sensors? Well, that's that's an interesting, perhaps surprise, because all the talk is on robot vehicles and robot vehicles need very expensive sensors. Uh, but actually, now that things are going rather short term, and to put it bluntly, the car industry, the car companies are in a fight to the death, and they're going to do that over whether they can sell you uh, a battery electric car that you can afford and goes the distance you want it to go. And both of those are the opposite of what the early robot vehicles give you because they take more electricity which can affect the range adversely and uh, they increase the price of the vehicle they are expensive so it's not that uh, the robot vehicles are put on the back burner but they are deprioritized to some extent and the priority is on sensors for what i said because that is an existential thing for the car industry Thank you very much, Peter. Very interesting. So for more information, take a look at this new report from IDTechX, idtechx.com forward slash sensor to get a view of the whole picture. Thanks, Peter.